In general, the interior of Santa Fe is made of sufficient quality, although some weaknesses were still identified during operation. See photo. Leather trim comes in black and beige. The latter looks more spectacular, but requires more careful handling and periodic cleanings. Based on dry mathematical numbers, the luggage compartment of the crossover with a volume of 775-1580 liters is small compared to competitors, but in general it can easily cope with various economic tasks. For example, transporting a large two-chamber refrigerator inside is not a problem. You can criticize the car only because the creators have deprived it of the convenient design inherent in its predecessor, the separately opening rear window. The most widespread in Ukraine are Santa Fe with a 2.7-liter gasoline engine and a 2.2-liter turbo diesel engine. Gasoline, 2.4 and 3.5 liters appeared at the end of the production of this model and are quite rare in our area. During operation, the top-end 2.7-liter engine turned out to be more reliable. Individual ignition coils and a proprietary variable valve timing system for this unit, as a rule, serve without problems. Due to the considerable fuel consumption, in the city about 14 liters per 100, many owners of 2.7 liter versions install gas equipment. According to the service workers, with a quality job, this unit works very well on gas. But the 2.2 liter turbo diesel unit is able to present more trouble. So, its nozzles are sensitive to fuel quality left diesel fuel can quickly disable these nodes. As practice has shown, blow plugs are not too durable either, on average they serve 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Moreover, with their replacement, difficulties often arise, in the worst case, you have to remove the cylinder head and drill out a boiled can. It is also possible that the glow plug relay failed. A crankshaft pulley with a damper clutch may become unusable after 80,000 kilometers. On cars of the first years of production, 2006 to 2008, there were cases of failure of the injection pump fuel pumps, later they were modernized, and they serve without problems. Typical problems inherent in both of the aforementioned units, start or failure, leakage of the front crankshaft oil seal and engine pan are possible. The timing of all engines of 2.7 liters and 2.2 liters, until 2010, is equipped with a belt that must be changed along with the rollers every 60,000 kilometers. During the restyling of 2010, the 2.2-liter turbo diesel was upgraded, it became more powerful by 42 horsepower S, and the timing received a durable metal chain. Unlike its predecessor, endowed with the best off-road arsenal, permanent all-wheel drive with the center viscous coupling and a self-locking diff in the rear axle, the second-generation Santa Fe is equipped with a plug-in all-wheel drive, the front wheels are activated when the front wheels slip using an electronically controlled center clutch. If necessary, to overcome difficult sections of roads, it can be forcibly blocked using the button. This crossover does not have any other off-road equipment, although, as the owners of Santa Fe assure, it feels quite confident outside of hard asphalt roads. Notes on the transmission, with runs over 80,000 kilometers, the rear gearbox cover may leak and the driveshaft outboard bearing may become unusable. It's good that the bearing is changed separately. The car was aggregated with mechanical and automatic transmissions. In the mechanics, combined with turbo diesel engines, the dual mass flywheel does not differ in durability, it can become unusable by 70,000 km. At a given mileage in all mechanical gearboxes, axle shaft seals can leak. In the machines, a leak of the oil pan and oil cooling radiator hoses was noted. A characteristic problem inherent in both types of gearboxes is the failure of the right axle shaft bearing at high mileage more than 100,000 kilometers. Moreover, if it is not replaced in a timely manner, then the spline connection of the inner and outer parts of the axle shaft is broken, and in this case it is already necessary to change the entire assembly. Both Santa Fe suspensions are independent with anti-roll bars, the front one is McPherson, and the multi-link is installed at the rear. A serviceable chassis is moderately stiff, and the car shakes a little on bumps, but at high speed, with fast lane changes and in corners, the suspension holds a tall car quite well. The weak points of the front end are the support bearings of the front struts, they can become unusable already at 40 to 50,000 kilometers, and shock absorbers, especially the front ones, wear out at 15 to 30,000 kilometers. At the end of the model release in 2012, the manufacturer upgraded the shock absorbers, and now they last longer, 80 to 100,000 kilometers. On pre-styling cars, Wheel bearings also do not differ in durability, 
they can become unusable already at 50,000 kilometers. The situation is aggravated by the fact that they change together with the hubs. In 2010, the bearings were modernized, and they became more reliable. In the seven-seater versions, rear shock absorbers are used with a variable degree of rigidity, which on our roads can become unusable by 70 to 80,000 kilometers. They cost about three times more than regular ones, so owners often change them to regular shock absorbers paired with stiffer rear springs. Many suspension parts have a good resource. Ball bearings serve 80 to 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks of the front levers, 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the rear, multi-link, about 150,000 kilometers. But the bushings of the front stabilizer go about 40,000 kilometers, rear, 70,000 kilometers, racks, 60 to 70,000 kilometers, rear, 70 to 80,000 kilometers. Reduces the cost of suspension repair that many consumables are changed separately. It can disturb the steering, equipped with power steering, where the rack bushing is noted. 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and the rack oil seals may also leak. In this situation, the only good thing is that the rail is maintainable. There are also comments on the brake system. There was a knock on the rear calipers. They require periodic lubrication of the guides, as well as a failure of the brake light on slash off switch, which domestic dealers change for free at the expense of the manufacturer. Hyundai Santa Fe is suitable for those who are looking for a large, roomy, and well-equipped car with good off-road qualities for relatively little money. Korean is cheaper than many more prestigious competitors. Although the reliability of this crossover is lame, 